Friends, are you ready to draw something great? Today we're going to draw something out of a book that I love by David Wisner. It's called Tuesday and it got the Caldecott Award for the best pictures. I love this book because back before I went to college I was, thought I was going to be a children's book illustrator. So I wanted to illustrate books like this and then I decided to be a teacher and I'm really glad I did. So today I want to show you how to draw a frog on a flying lily pad. I think you'll like it a lot. Remember that we're just going to break everything down and make it simple. We'll do one shape and one line at a time and pretty soon you will have an amazing drawing that you are really proud of. Okay, let's begin. Okay, first of all we're going to draw a curved line for his back right here. And stop. And then we're going to draw two curved lines for his eyes. One eyeball we can see and one we can't. We'll come around this way. And actually I want you to come all the way around and make a circle and then make another circle inside that. Now frogs have interesting eyes. We're going to make kind of that a leaf shape with a curve this way and a curve this way. Okay now we can only see this other eye just a little bit of it. All we can see is just that line. We know it's there so we're just going to draw just that curved line and be done with that part. Okay now for his nose. Just a curved line right there. And we're going to come in a little bit around and back up to that line. Okay, now I'm going to have you do just do a little bit of a curve, just like that. And then come in and then start making it curve out a little bit more. Because you know how that, that neck that kind of blows up and is fat? That's where that is right there. Okay, now the legs are kind of tucked underneath him, so what we're going to do is draw a curved line that goes around and back this way. Okay, almost to this end, but not quite. And then we'll draw a curved line like this. Now luckily his feet are just tucked under him, so this makes it really easy to draw. You can just connect these two lines right there. Okay, now for his arm, we're going to draw a curved line right here. And we'll just bring this one in just a tad. Okay, now we get to draw just a little bit of his fingers. One, two, just draw as many lines as you can fit right there. And then do a little circle at the end. We can't even see his other, so that makes it really easy. Pretty simple shape so far, right? Okay, now frogs have a lighter tummy than they do the back. So we need to just kind of draw a line right here, coming right from the mouth and down to the leg. That way we, this can be lighter and this can be darker. Okay, now for the flying lily pad. This is great. It's kind of like a magic carpet. You guys have to check this book out. It's so fun. All right, we're going to draw a line right there into his back and then we're going to come another line that comes down like this. Kind of make it a little floppy. Okay, see how I kind of went down, up, down, up, and now curve it and bring it around. Okay, now that is the top part of the lily pad, but it kind of bends on the other side. This might seem really tricky, but if you follow me, I know you can do it. Okay, now over here, we're just going to draw another curved line that goes back up like that, and that's kind of the underneath of the lily pad. Lily pads a lot of times aren't perfect around, they have these little notches. So we're going to just draw a couple little triangles. You can make it a little wiggly if you want to, like that. And also just some lines, because it is a leaf, it's a plant, and so you can draw some lines on here. Okay, now we just have to add some details to the frog. Frogs have all sorts of different types of um, camouflage on their back, different types of spots and dots, and you can decide whatever you want to do. I am going to draw kind of smushed, wavy circles for my texture and pattern on my frog. Put them right next to each other. Kind of fill in that space. and some on the legs. Okay, and then I'm going to draw some little circles here for texture because they have these little bubbles on the underneath part of their neck. So just draw circles and even some dots. 
and it'll add nice texture. You can draw this with crayons or oil pastels, or you could draw it with a pencil, and then you could come back and watercolor it. That's exactly what David Weisner did with his paintings, is pencil and then watercolor. Let's just add this arm right here has the bigger spot, so we want to make sure to add that. And that is how you draw a frog. Okay, now I have a challenge for you artists out there. When you look at this picture, you see lots and lots of frogs flying through the sky. So now that you know how to draw a frog on a flying lily pad, I would love it if you could draw a bunch of frogs and you could decide where they go in your neighborhood at night. At the back of this book, this is what happens next Tuesday. Okay, another fun thing for you to do would be to, be to draw something that happens the Tuesday after that. Okay, everybody, you did a great job today. Remember that you are a great artist. Keep on drawing, and I will see you next time. Bye.